All right, today's video, we are going to uh, remove the Kohler assembly from an AMD Ryzen 9300. We're going to remove the prism Kohler with the LEDs and everything. And we are going to uh, take that puppy off and get to the fan and uh, Kohler part and uh, remove the fan so we can get the dust bunnies out of this thing uh, just to make it run more efficiently and cooler. Uh, that's the plan. What you want to do is uh, to remove this cooler assembly from the CPU, which is attached via thermal paste, and the brackets. You remove the bracket on the right there, which are holding on to the clamps. The clamps is holding on to the brackets on the motherboard. You just uh, loosen that lever and wiggle, wiggle, and then um, then uh, you kind of rotate it back and forth clockwise, counterclockwise. Never pull straight up on the fan assembly because you will pull the CPU out of its uh, seat and uh, it is locked down with that lockdown lever. So you don't want to do that. You want to gently twist back and forth gently. And hopefully the gods will allow you to uh, break that free the thermal paste. Uh, so there you go. Now I got this puppy off and I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. There is the plastic top to the prism. And on each side there's two tabs. And what I ha recommend is do not use a screwdriver, a flathead or anything metal. Get a plastic pry bar. You should have one or two of these right there, that orange thing. Get a couple of those. Just get a couple of those, put them in your toolbox. You will use them for your auto maintenance. You will use them for anything, uh, everything in your house, especially computers too, to help you pry stuff off without breaking and damaging. So there's two there, and you just basically want to separate gently, gently, gently the uh, top part from the radiator or the cooler just to get that off, and it'll just pop off. And, and uh, once you do that, just be careful. I think I unplugged the... Uh, power cables here and the LED cables from the motherboard just so I'm not yanking on the cables and remember how it went together before you took it apart because uh, you may forget the orientation but you'll see where the tab indentations are in the uh, radiator fins the cooler fins the heat sink fins once you take off and look at that oh that is disgusting and I even clean these things out trying to get in between the blade fans and you just you just can never get all the dirt out, even with a vacuum. You got to do this maintenance once, uh, I say once every six months. Uh, if you're, even if you're blowing it out with compressed air, it's not going to get all that dust bunnies out. This is a CPU mining rig that's out in the open, hence the dirtiness. I'm guessing if I had it in a box with filters and screens on the actual computer box, it would not be this dirty, but that's what you get. Uh, so there you go. You pop that off easy, easy enough, right? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you here. I use a brush right coming up. And I use a brush, which works great. It's a micro detailing brush. And uh, it just gets in the fins to get all those dust bunnies out. And whatever doesn't come out, you can just kind of blow it out. Like, poof, 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 you know, no big deal. And uh, then you're good to go. And uh, careful when you do turn the fan, the plastic part upside down. Oh, there's some thermal paste. I'm going to, I'm going to be playing with this motherboard. I'm trying to fix something on the motherboard. And uh, so I'm not going to clean off the old thermal paste just yet. I'm just going to put a little dab on for now. And there's the brush. I did this. This is after I cleaned off the crappy, a lot of the stuff. I did it over a garbage can away from everything. And you don't want to breathe this crap in. So it all went in a garbage can. Of course, the bracket handle stuff fell into the garbage can as well. When you turn this thing over, those little pieces will fall out. So just be mindful of that. And that's it. And once you just brush that thing out, it works. You know, it just was easy to get all the dust bunnies out. No, no, uh nothing really uh too difficult here just being careful not to bend the fins and not to break the plastic top when you remove it from the heat sink and that's about it i think what i'm doing now is just yeah i'm going to clean the fins now the blades and then that's it uh, there's no more detail this is pretty easy uh if you do have cpus you may want to look at them if you do have dust bunnies and you want them to run cooler if you're running gaming or cpu mining and stuff you want to keep these things running cool and this is just one of your maintenance tasks you should probably follow if you have the time and effort if you don't care then don't worry about it all right that's all i got sit back and let's watch me clean the fin blades you can use um i'm using uh, the brush here just to get the bulk of the stuff off to mainly remove uh, resistance and weight and the stuff on the blades again for efficiency and to keep these uh, cpus running cool as possible all right enjoy the rest of the rest of the video i'll see you guys in the next one